yarn friends welcome back to llama mama kayla's yarn tube i'm kayla and i am so excited to be back here with you today i wanted to make a video to show some of my finished projects and some projects that i'm going to be working on this week so i'll just start with the largest project here and get it out of the way i did do this one back in february but as you know i haven't been making videos to really show my projects and so i'm trying to get back into that Anyway, back in February, while we were flooded out of our home, I made this huge rainbow. I mean, you can see how big it is. This is a 3 a.m. Grace design, and I will try my best to remember to link their um, website. But um, you can see it has the clouds and the rainbows. Um, I think in, after I had added the eyes, I wish that I would have made big black eyes so they would be bigger than that, but it turned out cute anyway. So, um, there's my big rainbow, and the other side is um, just plain, so I could have it either way. But the 3AM Grace designs, they are really easy designs and really great for beginner crocheters. And so on this project, actually, I used um, a lot of Hobby Lobby's Crafter Secrets. I always don't know if it's Secret Crafters or Crafter Secret. It's Crafter Secret. I used a lot of that um, yarn. This one right here is an I Love This yarn. But um, I think the rest of these is a Crafter Secret Hobby Lobby. And then there's just white as a red heart super saver. And then the pink is a, a red heart super saver, I believe. Uh, that might be Crafter Secret, too. But anyway, um, I like how this turned out. It was really fun to make. Um, I learned some things making this, and so that's always a good thing. And then another couple of their projects I made. Now, if you know me... I always have a glass of sweet tea. <laughs> and so when I saw this cuddler here, I was like, I got to make that because I always um, have a, I use a jar like this that has a handle so I can stick my thumb through it to help hold it. Otherwise, I would um, lose grip. So that's the way I hold my glasses and stuff by sticking my thumb through there. And so when I saw this, I had to make that. They had theirs. Uh, they did put a face on theirs. This is, again, another um, 3 a.m. Grace Designs. They had a face on theirs, but I didn't really want a face. So I just put my lemon and my ice cubes. And I like a lot of ice. <laughs> Here in the South, we're all about the ice. Except um, my son, Dakota, when, for some reason why he always orders like at Sonic or something like that he orders easy on the ice and the ice just melts real quick and you know I don't like that so I don't like for him to order my drinks <laughs> but anyway I like how this turned out it's cute um just uh, looks like a jar of tea to me and on this I used um I think this is um crafter secret and this is a um Walmart mainstay gray and then this is the um a red heart super saver brown and a red heart super saver white and i can't think of the name of that brown i don't think it's i don't think it's latte i don't know if it's coffee coffee maybe it's coffee color i can't remember it because there's two different browns that are mocha i can't i can't remember but anyway so and then the back side is just um you know a jar and you could actually make these and it would be, um, you know, make it lemonade or make it uh, Mountain Dew or Sprite or, you know, a Coke or just whatever your choice of beverage is. So these can be changed up to made different ways. Anyway, I th thought that was cute. And then I made this one for Dakota because he likes pepperoni pizza. And so... Um, Again, this is Crafter Secret, and this is a Red Heart Super Saver, and the brown is um, 
a red heart. Super Saver color. But anyway, it's, you can see how thick it is. And this is a 3 a.m. Grace Design. And so there's a little bit of sauce here and then cheese and the pepperoni pieces. And I think, again, they had made a face on theirs, but I decided, um, you know, not to do a face. So that's my three cuddlers that I've um, had made to show. And then I just got fuzz all over my shirt. Um, I had made my friend Angela a dish towel. And so she asked for some more dish towels and dish cloths. And so I made her some more. So I have this, um, just a big dish cloth. And this is a, um, this is the little balls of cotton from Michael's. <laughs> The um, sugars and cream. And I probably used two balls on this. I think so. So anyway, um, there's that cotton one. And then uh, this one is actually Hobby Lobby's. I had um, a couple of these. And so I had made her one and made ended up making another one. And this is just one ball of that I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. And then, um, just playing around, I had some of that, you know, um, sugars and cream from Walmart. and I mean, from Michael, sorry. And so, I just decided to do a granny square stitch and make a dish towel. And so, I just did the, you know, like I was making a long rectangle blanket or something and just made that middle piece and then just kept going around and then I didn't have enough to do a complete row so I just kind of did a little scallop around the edge you can see there and so um it worked up and I think I did let's see I did this little dish rag to match that since it has this in the center and then I went around it with some green. But I think Angela will like these. I haven't seen Angela because of the coronavirus. We've um, you know really tried to social distance and then plus at her job they had a breakout of coronavirus. So um you know, she's still goes to work, but she, um, you know, social distances from people she don't want to infect. And this one does match one of the dish towels also. And then I just made some um, dish cloth, uh, I mean, dish rag with the um, sugars and cream. And it's just a um, green and a sage this green actually came from walmart though and then the um, sage came from michael's and then and i don't i don't know the colorways those ball bands are long gone i'm sure <laughs> and then um i know that this one's called moon something but this is from michael's the sugars and cream cotton and so i just kind of whipped up these um Granny Square dish gloss. And then um, I have a couple purple ones here. So hopefully soon I'll see Angela again and can give her her stack of dish cloths and dish towels there. And let's see what else I've got. Um, the other thing that I made here recently was I made myself a purse. A granny square purse. Um, I didn't have a pattern for this. I just kind of made it up as I went. And um, I like these colors together. The black, gray, and pink and white. And so I just made this big granny square. Which kind of came, you know, it's kind of, it looks taller than it is. Wide, but it's the same all the way around. And so I made a second one. 
So I had two of them. And then I made a panel to go in the middle. Now this was the tricky part for me because, um, you know, I'm kind of new at that. And so I decided, I, I tried several times chaining and kind of going up a couple rows to see the width. And so I finally got the width that I wanted. And so I just kept going and going and I measured the square is actually 12 by 12. So I measured, um, as I was making this, I measured 12 inches and then um, I didn't turn it or anything like that. I just kept going. So it was a long strip and I measured 12 inches and then I measured 12 inches until I um, felt like I had got it to the right length to sew around. And so that's what I did. I um, took this side piece and put it with that and I just started whipping it together. Well, actually I single crocheted it together. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I did single crochet that together. And so I just had my fir first panel and I just single crocheted that together. And then when I got to the corner, I did just um, a single crochet, a chain and a single crochet all in that corner. And then I just turned the corner, went around and did the same in this corner and went up. And as I got up here, I was a little short. And so I just, um, I didn't bind off when I was doing this before because I wasn't sure if I was had it too long or too short. If it was too long, I could have just ripped some out and it would have been fine, but it was still too short. It was about um, this much too short. And so I just put my hook back in there and worked on that gray some more. Like I stopped whipping it right here when I saw that it was gonna be a little short. And I put my hook back in and just started whipping up this until I got up here. And then I went, put my hook back over here because I left my loop and um, single crocheted that back together until I got there. And then I had to do another row and um, it just worked up good. And then once I had that, then I just flipped it over and single crocheted the other side to it. And I wanted to make sure that it was going to meet up right because, you know, that's kind of iffy. <laughs> and so I took my clips. I took these clips that I had got off a of Wish a long, long time ago. And I just kind of um, pinned it together like that all the way around. I, like I pinned this side and I pinned this side and I stretched it out and pinned my corners and then I just pinned all the way around. And um, it seems like whenever I, <clears throat> and then I just started single crocheting it. And it seems like whenever I got to the end, you know, I was kind of nervous about, is it going to match up right? Because, I mean, you can't add more to that, to the panel at that point, because it's already sewn to this point side. So I just um, kind of manipulated it to fit. And it did. And then, so, uh, um, then I just added on this pink going all the way around. You can see I went up a few rows. And I think on the next one I make, I may not make this pink as tall right here before I do the handles. But, um, anyway, it, it's turned out good. And this is made with, I know the pink is Red Heart Super Saver. The gray is um red heart super gray like heather gray or something and then the black the white is red heart super saver and the black is crafter's choice from hobby lobby so anyway that's my um purse i made and i did put i haven't used it or anything of course yet i did put a box of cheez it's in here the other day and um i, I like the way it did at the bottom it wasn't all um it was a little bit saggy, but not, not a lot because of, I guess, because of the way it's just made. And I guess if anyone wanted to, they could put, like in the bottom, they could cut some of that, um, that plastic canvas, um, sewing thing. They could cut that to the size of the bottom and put that into the bottom of the, um, purse and sew it in or something like that. But, um... And I might end up doing that.
Dakota did find a whole stack of that plastic canvas sewing stuff at a thrift store for like nothing. I mean, it was a big stack of it. And he brought it home and he showed it to me. And then he just put it away. And um, we can't find it now. <laughs> but we have had a lot going on in our home since then. Like, you know, we packed up and moved out for flooding. So who knows? But anyway, that's my um, Cranny Square purse. I like how that turned out. And I don't know if I'll really use it as a purse or if I'll use it as a project bag. So let me just throw that to the side over there. The other thing that I made and I've worn a lot is I made this. Um, I'm not going to put it on, but it's the headband scarf. And this is a Sarah Satch pattern and the first one I made I, I crochet with tight tension and the first one I made um, ended up was too small it wouldn't even fit on my head um, I mean, it's it's kind of small right there it didn't fit on Elijah's head and then I tried it on my head and it didn't fit so um, I whipped up another one just right behind that one it didn't take long to make that at all and then I whip, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. Then I whipped up this one and um, I might have I went up a hook size on this one actually because I do t tend to crochet pretty tight. So I think I went up a hook size and used like a um, 5.5 if she called for a 5 on that. I can't remember. But anyway, um, I have worn this a lot. And you would think, you know, being in Louisiana, I thought, oh, that's going to be hot. But it's really not. It's not hot at all. And so, at times when I've had to see other people or be in the public and um, wasn't having a hair, good, good hair day. Um, and for me, I need my husband to help me wash my hair. And sometimes... Um, I don't ask him when it needs to be done because I know he's tired or hurting himself or something, you know. And so, um, if I have a bad hair day <laughs> because my hair needs washing or something, I can slip this on and it's fine. <laughs> Nobody even knows. So, um, I really like making these. And actually, Elijah wants me to make him one that's black and gray. And I haven't been to Hobby Lobby, but when I go again, I'm going to get some black and gray variegated yarn. I know I've seen it there. It may have a little more white in it, but I'm going to get one of those and make one for Elijah because he said he would like that. <laughs> so, um, let me just get that out of the way. And I think that's all the finished, finished projects I have. I have tons and tons of projects, you know, on the go. But, I'm going to focus on certain projects this week and get those done. So I'm going to show you those projects. Uh, I'm, go I'm making this um, blanket with these squares here. It's a little baby blanket. And this will actually be the second one I made. I made one already and I gifted it to the young man who lives in the next town over from me. But he drives out here where I live every spring during flooding season and helps people who are flooding um, he's come here before and helped us load up some stuff and put furniture up on blocks and stuff like that. He goes to my, my neighbor's house and puts poly pipe up around their house to keep it from flooding every year. And so we just appreciate him so much. He, he puts that poly pipe up for a lot of homes out here, about five or six different homes. And so I just really appreciate him helping people protect their homes and stuff. And the reason why we don't do the poly pipe is because our house is already two and a half feet off the ground. And the poly pipe is only probably about, I don't know, 18 inches tall, something like that. Maybe two feet. I don't know. But it, well, anyway, so this blanket is daisies with bright colors around it. And I just love this blanket. And I was going to do it in white. And then I had that uh, Crafter Secret Green laying there. And I, it was kind of beside. I wasn't using it on this project, but it was laying there beside. And I was like, 
really like how that green pops on those bright squares. So this is a Crafter's Secret Yellow. I know um, all the white is Red Heart Super Saver. And the green is um, Crafter's Secret. So I'm going to whip these together. You can see I've made my little outside border. And it won't take me long to whip these up together. But I have two yellows and two pinks. And the pink is Red Heart Super Saver, though. And then I have two peach. And this peach is a Karen One Pounder. So they're all four weight yarns. And that's another pink. And then I have this brighter pink that is a Crafter Secret. Then I have two of the orange, and it's Crafter Secret. And the yellow. And then I have this orchid that is a Red Heart Super Saver. So I have um, I have multiples of those. So I have 12 squares in all. And so my blanket will be uh, four down and three across for a little baby blanket. And like I said, I've made one of these already, and I gifted it to um, Brandon and his wife. And I, I don't know his wife, but um, I went to her work and gave it to her. And they have a baby due in September. So um, she really liked it, and she thought it was pretty. So um, I wanted to make another one just because I love how that one turned out. All right, and another baby blanket that I am making for a little girl that, um, that little girl, she's married now, <laughs> but um, she was a homeschool friend of ours who I watched grow up since she was little. And so I'm making this um, just a big granny square blanket for her. And I am using the Mandala Pegasus. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, Pegasus. The Madala, and this is a three weight yarn, but her mother told me, I asked first, because, you know, some people don't like crochet, and, you know, that's fine, people have their preferences, so I asked first, you know, asked her mom, would she like a crochet blanket, and she said if it was open and light, it would, but she didn't think she would like it if it was um, thick and um, stiff, I guess. And so, even though this is a three-weight yarn, I'm using a 5.5 hook. And so, it is very lightweight and um, drapey and all that, you know. So, I, don't, I think she might like that. And the 5.5 hook, that is just the hook I like to use for a lot of things. I use that for my, um, all my projects. Unless it needs to be smaller, I'll use a five or, you know, whatever size it's calling for. But most of my things, I'm going to use a 5.5 hook for just because that's my go-to hook. So I'll be working on this this next week, trying to finish that up for Allie. And the other thing, another thing that I'm working on is I am making that Halloween, it's a yarn inspiration blanket and this is the squares I, I have all my squares made now um ella from no catchy name is making the same blanket but she is doing it in the tradi traditional original stitch that the pattern calls for but um i don't really like doing that stitch on squares because for some reason my squares don't turn out square when i do that stitch i know why because when i do the corners I sometimes don't pull it over and get that first stitch around my corners. And so my um, blanket doesn't, my squares don't turn out right. But I like doing the granny square. Like that's my like favorite thing to do right now. So I have, and um, I have four of these squares made. And I'm trying to do projects that I already have the yarn for. Because I know I'm not going out and buying yarn. So I'm trying to do projects that I have the yarn for, and I just so happen to have um, these colors, and just got busy and made my four squares, and these are 11 rounds, or 10 rounds with, um, it's 10 rounds, 
Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rounds, and then the black border makes the eleventh round. So I have um, four of these. And then the next squares are um, all the bright orange, the pumpkin orange. And I have five of these. This is four of them. And here is the fifth orange one right here. And so um, to me, this is the hardest part is sewing these pieces on. I have sewn, I have the eyebrows right here. I've sewn these little suckers on <laughs> several times and I keep taking them back off because I don't like the way they look. So um, that's what's keeping me from completing the blanket. I've had these squares made for a couple weeks now, but I just haven't um, done the faces. <laughs> but I'm going to get buckled down and do these faces this week so I can call this finished. But anyway, so I'm going to sew my squares together and then I think I'm gonna go around the whole blanket in gray and then go around the whole blanket in black again so I'm not really following the pattern I've just kind of made it my own you know using the granny square stitch and I'm not sure what their border looks like on that pattern but anyway um that was the inspiration for this project which Ella was the original inspiration <laughs> And then I went, she had the link, and so I followed it and went and found this. And I was like, yes, I have all that yard. So I made it. So I think that'll be a cute blanket. And then another blanket that I'm working on that is pretty close to being ready to put together also is uh, making this sunflower square. I'm, I'm not a flower person. Um, like, I don't really wear... I have like maybe one or two shirts that have flowers on them. One of them I really do like. Um, and I wore it in a video here a while back. But um, most flowery material like shirts and stuff like that is not for me. I prefer solid colors. And I'm not really a flower person. Like I want flowers or anything. But the two flowers that I do like are sunflowers and daisies. So that's why I made those. But anyway, so I wanted a fall blanket to go here on my um, bench. And so I was making these sunflower squares. And I'll just show you. Um, I think I'm going to have 24 in all when I finish. But this is what I have so far. And um, I'll tell you, I picked the brown which is um, Karen One Pounder. The yellow is a Karen One Pounder. And the green is a Karen One Pounder. And just so happened, the yellow Karen One Pounder is called Sunflower. So, and then Dakota picked the orange. And then my friend Jessica picked the purple round. And then Elijah picked the tan round. So I can't wait to put this together. So of course it's going to have this tan between each square. So when I get it all put together, like I said, it'll be 24 squares. Then I'm going to go around it with a tan. And I might go around it one more time with a yellow and put a yellow border around it. I'll just try and see. And if it doesn't look right, you know, I'll rip it out before I get too far along. So I'm making those. And um, I have one on my desk here that's going right now. And then I have uh, three, four, five more to do after that. So that's going to be my project for this week is to finish up these, um, turn these sunflowers into these squares and put it together. And then um, I'm going to do another sunflower project. I don't know if I'll finish this this week, but I'm going to be working on making these little squares which the sunflower and the purple and then I'm going to trim it in brown and this is going to end up being a granny square purse so um, and like I said these are all Karen one pounders the tan I didn't tell that that tan is remember back um, 
maybe last summer or so, or a year or a half ago or something like that, uh, Michael's had those humongous balls. Um, I think it's loops and thread. I can't really remember. Um, and then they had them out for a while and then they marked them down to like seven dollars i think they were regular like 19.99 or something like that and then at one point there were clearance to like seven dollars and so i got a brown uh black and a gray i think and i have used this for lots of projects um, i'm pulling from the outside because i never could find an inside string so i'm pulling from the outside which is a little tedious when I've got a project going and I need more yarn, I'm having to try to unwrap this big old egg. I mean, that's a lot of yarn. You can see that's solid in there. No yarn has been pulled out of here. So, um, and I've used this for lots of projects in the past and it looks like I'll be using it for lots of projects in the future. <laughs> so, um, and I, I have, like I said, I have tons more projects going, but that's the projects I'm going to focus on for this week. Another project that is not really yarn, it's embroidery. Um, I did a video here a while back showing a embroidery piece that I did just playing around and doing some stitch sampling. And I really had fun doing that. And so, <clears throat> excuse me one second. So I want to do some more of that. And so I'm making this little long pillow. I really never knew that like these little five inch pillows were a thing. They're about five, um, six inches tall. I never knew these long narrow pillows were a thing, but um, obviously they are. <laughs> I've seen some in stores or online. I've seen some on Etsy and stuff like that. So this is actually a branch I'm making a branch and it says bless our nest and I don't know if you can see I've drawn on with those um invisible not invisible but disappearing markers is a nest right there and it has some eggs in it so I'm working on this and I'm, I mean this is not a goal to finish this week but I will be working on it so I hope to have progress on it um and I was doing this for to enter in the fair, which I highly doubt we have a fair this year. But who knows? It could happen. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, anyway, this is kind of tedious work for me. Um, this, this part, having to fill in this whole branch is a lot of work. And so I work on this every now and then not anything regular you can see the back is um pretty messy and this i'm just doing this on a piece of felt that i had got at michael's and so and then when, once i get it done i'm just gonna sew up maybe turn it wrong side out and sew the um end and the bottom and then uh, turn it right side out, stuff it, and then sew the edge there. So anyway, that's just a little pillow that I'm working on. But um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope 2020 is being as good to you as it can. I know a lot are, you know, disappointed in 2020. I know I had high hopes for 2020 and it just didn't happen. And I started to take this board down because it used to say happy 2020. Well, the letters have fell off as the months went by because it hasn't been a happy 2020. <laughs> and if the a, a was still there, it would say ha 2020 and that would be more appropriate. But the A has fell off and I don't even know where the letters went. I do have a thing right here that I put my mail and bills and stuff in so they probably fell off into that I just hadn't pulled um the mail and stuff out to see if they're in there but I'm sure they are but anyway so now I just got H 2020s because it's not even high <laughs> I need to put H E L P 20 up there but anyway um just being silly 
But, um, oh, I did want to show y'all that uh, I received a card in the mail from Penny Applewood. And I appreciate that so much, Penny. Um, just a cute little card with a um, hot air balloon. I love, do love hot air balloons. And it just says, wherever you may be on your journey, hoping you're finding comfort and healing along the way. Your friend, Penny, little bits of yarn. And then she um, had wrote me a little note and put on the inside. And I appreciate that very much, Penny. Um, it meant a lot to me to get that card. It kind of brightened my day that day. So, um, like I said, I hope you're all doing well. And having, um, you know, lots of time to crochet or craft or whatever your hobby is. I'm looking around to see if I have anything else I'm supposed to talk about, but I don't see anything. So, I hope you all join me again soon. Thanks for stopping by to visit. Enjoyed to visit with you. Have a great day.